What's going on guys, it's Sean here and I am back today to give you guys a review of the Quality Arboreal in the gray and turquoise colorway. Quality, for those of you guys who haven't heard of them before, they're a streetwear brand based out of Montreal, Canada. And this is their first attempt entering the sneaker market. These retail for 200 Canadian dollars and they release alongside a purple colorway as well. So back in December, Quality did a pre-release where they sold pre-orders of this shoe and the purple one in very limited numbers. I believe the wider launch is set for February 1st, so if you guys are interested in picking up this shoe, be sure to check out their website, their social media, all that good stuff so that you don't miss out on this pair. So while the design of this shoe was based out of Montreal, Canada, the materials themselves were sourced out of Italy, and then the entire shoe was put together in Portugal. Jumping straight into the shoe, the base of the shoe is constructed using this grey coloured mesh. And then overlaid on top of the mesh, we have a wide variety of materials and textures. So around this toe box area, we have this turquoise colored suede. And then running up the center area of the toe box and surrounding the edges where the eyelets are, we have this cream colored suede. Covering the eyelets of the lateral side only, we have an additional overlay. And this time, this is done in gray. Taking a look at the midfoot of the shoe, first off with the lateral side. On this side, we have these two overlays, one in turquoise and one in gray. And this covers up the mesh panel found on the side. As I flip it over to the medial side, however, you'll see that on this side, we have these small perforations found on the gray suede. Take a look at the back of the shoe. You'll see that this gray suede wraps around the back. And above this, we have this turquoise suede with the word arboreal debossed in the center. In terms of laces, so these come standard with white flat laces, but they also come with two extra pairs of laces. So you can really customize the look of this shoe. So we have these gray oval shaped laces along with a turquoise pair as well. Underneath the laces, we have your tongue, and this is a padded tongue constructed out of gray mesh. So the inner liner of this shoe is made out of this tan colored textile. And then as I pull out the insole, the top of the insole has a bit of a synthetic leather feel to it. And then we have quality and arboreal branding debossed in the heel. So this insole is a little bit more on the thinner side. There's a little bit more padding underneath the heel, but the forefoot area was pretty thin. So the upper of this shoe sits atop this cream colored chunky midsole. Throughout the midsole, we have these different engravings and carvings, which I kind of like because I feel like it really spices up the look of the midsole, as opposed to if it was just one complete flat area. And then as I flip these over to the bottom, so here we have your outsole. This once again is entirely done in this cream color. And we have a different traction pattern depending on whether you're looking at the outer ring or the center area of the outsole. In terms of sizing, so my feet measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, and Quality sent me these in a size 43. So I'm not sure exactly if they don't adopt US sizing, but they might be using European measurements only. So for me at least, the size 43 fit me perfectly. This shoe is pretty generous up front at the toe box as well, so if you do have wider feet, these will fit you pretty well. From a comfort standpoint, this is where I felt the shoe could have done a bit better. As I mentioned earlier, the insole provided is pretty thin, so whereas for your traditional sneaker, a lot of the comfort will come from the insole because they typically are fairly thick. In this case, the thin insole coupled with a pretty stiff midsole meant that this shoe wasn't the most comfortable shoe that I've worn, and it's something I highly recommend them improve on for future generations of this shoe. Last but not least, from a quality standpoint, so I felt that the craftsmanship and the materials used were pretty good. I won't say that I was blown away, but they're definitely above average, and for my pair at least, I had no visible glue stains, no loose stitching, and everything was on point. So with all that being said, now let me lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. Personally, my opinion on these is that for a first attempt getting into the sneaker market, Quality did a pretty good job. Design-wise, I think they nailed it as usual. I personally love the color scheme of this turquoise with the gray and the cream. And this being a shoe that doesn't have obvious logos or branding, this means that you can really wear this with anything you want. Of course, being a first attempt, there's obviously going to be some growing pains. Specifically for this shoe, the comfort, which I'm confident they will address in future models. 
So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the quality of Boreal in the turquoise and gray colorway. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at esco8, check out my Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website at seangoca Before I sign off, one final thank you goes out to the great people at Quality for hooking me up early, and until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next one.